five trips to the paint store, 10 color samples, but I think we finally found the perfect one for my kitchen makeover. Welcome back to my home and my forever kitchen. Maybe you've seen the project of my range hood. Maybe you saw the tile, but next, the next thing I'm taking on is painting or possibly staining the cabinets. This is a brand new island that we put in. And when I was designing it, I chose a very natural wood color for the island. And you can see, I just think, I just think these are clashing. So I didn't paint these first because I really wasn't sure what I was gonna do with them. I kind of liked the glaze. They're really well-made cabinets. They're from Thomasville. They're solid wood. Now that I've done the range head and I've done the tile, it's just something is off. Something's not tying in. I think it might be the glaze. So we are either going to do one of two things. I'm either gonna paint them kind of a warm sandy color, or I'm gonna see if I can strip these and maybe do a natural wood oak. Do my workshop. I've got my test cabinet. It is so foggy out today, but at least it's not super cold. So we're gonna work on this and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna test it out. This is my go-to primer, the Bullseye 123 primer. So we've put that on and now I'm gonna test out a potential paint color. So you don't have to strip cabinets in order to paint them. What I was doing was just seeing what the wood was like underneath because I had this idea of maybe staining them. But in that time, I have found out that the frames of the cabinets I'm thinking are press wood. So I won't be able to strip, actually it kind of saves me. I won't be able to strip everything. But um, if I can't stain it with a gel stain to match the way I want, I think we're gonna have to go with paint. So that's what I'm gonna test out. This color that I'm testing out is Elusive Green by Sherwin-Williams. Um, the color of my walls are Greek Villa, and this is a paint that they said pairs nicely with Greek Villa. So I like the idea of a green, but I don't want anything too green. And my husband, it's hard for him to kind of visualize when I say green cabinet. So by painting a test cabinet and putting it up, that will give us a really good visual if this is a green that we would like for a long time or something we can't see ourselves living with. And we're off to the paint store for like the fifth time this week because I just can't, can't decide the right color. But I've got some help with me. My beautiful sister, she's my person that I run everything by. The baby's loaded up too. We've got a lot of different colors. Here's the off-white collection from Benjamin Moore. Some really beautiful colors. It's interesting though, because things can look so different in these books than when you get a sample. So I highly recommend, once you like a color, getting a physical sample of it to paint on. Um, I like Benjamin Moore because they give you smaller samples that cost $7. Sherwin-Williams has great colors too, but they give you like a massive sample. Um, so here we go, you can see here are some of the ones that I was leaning towards. And again, they, they look similar, but different. That's the crazy things about white. Some are warmer, some are cooler. I definitely don't think we wanna go with a cool white, but more warmer. And then here are the other colors that I got. So you can see here is Edgecombe Gray, Revere Pewter, and Sherwin Williams does this cool thing where you can get vinyl samples. I cut a few pieces, but literally this is supposed to be the color and then you can stick it on in places. This accessible beige. But again, I would highly recommend actually painting it on before you um, move forward with the color. I showed you the green option. This is Elusive Green from Sherwin Williams. It's a recommended color to go with our walls, which is Greek Villa. But here's my concern. My concern is that if I paint the cabinets dark green, it's gonna make the kitchen looks short. You'll see these cabinets, they don't go all the way to the ceiling. Don't mind my messy kitchen. Um, we have 12 foot ceilings or 11 foot ceilings. So taking the cabinets all the way up would be really difficult. And I'm just afraid the green's gonna make everything look really short. <sighs> I'm probably gonna do an off white. I know, I know white kitchens, but I'm just thinking of something that's gonna last a long time and make it look taller since I'm not taking it all the way to the ceiling. So I'm doing an off white. I've got two different colors here. I went to Ace this morning and got Benjamin Moore colors. The first color is a pale oak. You'll see it's kind of got a little grayish tint to it. 
And then the other color I got is Swiss coffee. So a bit of off-white. I didn't have any more panels, so I took some pieces of trim from the cabinets and that's what we're gonna test it. Start with the pale oak. It's probably right on the back of these, which one is which. And I primed the pieces first with the bin primer. I don't mind, gosh, my kitchen is a hot mess. Got a comb, probably brushing my daughter's hair on the way out to school, but this is real life, guys. So I went with the warmer whites instead of cooler whites. So these warmer whites are gonna have more of a kind of yellow undertone. I don't want anything yellow, but I don't think stark white. The back, the back splash is already that white pearlescent. So if we do anything too white, it's just all gonna be so blended in. So something that's gonna stand out, but again, still make the, the uh, kitchen look large. Okay, so that is pale oak. All right, moving on now to Swiss coffee. They're very similar in colors, but it's amazing just how like paints that look so similar can actually be very different when the light hits them or like when you look at the swatch. Originally I was thinking Swiss coffee is what I'm going to go with, but I got this one just so I was there, so I might as well get two to compare. Oh, I got a little thing in my brush. Again, I'm not worried about this being perfect. This is just for color, color only. I'm gonna let these dry so we can see what it looks like dry because once paint dries, it can look very different. <laughs> so I would say this one definitely has more white. It's kind of hard to tell. And the top one has a little more of a, a gray sheen to it. painted these samples on the wall. These are my final four. This white dove is too white. This is Revere Pewter, which is in the top two, creamy white and, um, oh gosh, now I can't think of it, Edgecomb Gray. I think these two are my final. And I did paint it directly on it, which is probably not the best color representation. So now I have primed this cabinet and I'm going to paint it on there so we can get a true color. Right there, it doesn't look but it means this is Revere Pewter. Yeah, right there, it looks more beige, huh? It looks very beige, here. I mean, I really like how it's initially, I mean, I know it'll dry a little bit darker, but. We need to go downstairs, we're gonna have some quiet time and rest before the birthday party, no TV. So after, five trips to the paint store, a week of testing different finishes. I think I have finally found the perfect color and we're gonna go with Revere Pewter. You can see I did this test. I narrowed it down to my two favorite colors. One was creamy white, one was Revere Pewter. Um, I also did it on the side of the cabinet, but oh my, that's my daughter in the background. But once I primed it, it gave it a true color. What are you saying? And this is just too creamy. It's way too creamy. So. I think Revere Pewter is gonna be perfect for this is what happens when you try to make a YouTube video with a three-year-old rush. Juice box. Juice box it. It's gonna be perfect. So stay tuned for the next video as I start to prep the kitchen to paint. Bye.